In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the angle between two planes. So the way to think about this and to visualize it is to just imagine looking at the two planes side on. So let's say these are the two planes, OK? And let's label them. Let's label this one as pi 1 and this one as pi 2. Quite often when we label planes and give them names, we label them with pi. So for each of those two planes, so what you can imagine is that uh, there is a line uh, of points that's going down through the board, OK? And we're kind of like seeing them side on. Um, OK, so what you want to think about is the normal vectors for these two planes, because both of them will have a normal vector. So plane 1 will have a normal vector like this. And let's uh, call that n1. And plane 2 will have a normal vector as well. Let's call that n2. So what's important is that knowing that these are normal vectors, so that one is perpendicular to pi 2, and that one is perpendicular to pi 1, OK, then what we can do is we can take a look and say, well, what we want to find is this angle here. This is the angle theta that I am interested in. And what I know is that the angle between uh, pi 2 and n1 would be 90 take away theta. OK, just from the fact that n1 is perpendicular to pi 1, so I know that that angle's got to be 90 take away theta. Then if I try to work out this angle, well, if that's these two angles have got to add up to 90 degrees, then 90 take away this would just leave me with theta. So the angle between the two planes is the same as the angle between the two normal vectors. And that is the key. So if, for example, I wanted to find the angle between pi 1, which has the equation x take away 2y plus 3z plus 8 equals 0. And pi 2 has the equation 5x uh, take away 3y plus z plus 1 equals 0. If I wanted to find the angle between those two planes, then all I need to do is focus in on the two normal vectors. So n1 would be equal to 1, minus 2, 3, the coefficients of the x, y, z. The 8's got nothing to do with it, OK? And we've got n2 is equal to 5, minus 3, 1. So if I find the angle between these two vectors, then I'm home and dry. So n1 dotted with n2 is going to be equal to 1 times 5, plus minus 2 times minus 3, plus 3 times 1. So 5 plus 6 plus 3, uh, which is equal to 14. So cosine of theta is equal to 14 over the length of n1, which is 1 squared plus 4, uh, sorry, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So 1 plus 4 plus 9. Um, so 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14, so root 14. And then we've got 25 plus 9 plus 1. So 25 plus 9 is 34, plus 1 is 35. Okay. So 14 over root 14 times root 35. And then the inverse cosine of that gets us 50.8 degrees. So theta is 50.8 degrees to 3 sig fig. This is the angle between the two normal vectors.
which means that is also the angle between the two planes. Okay, so finding the angle between two planes reduces to just finding the angle between the two normal vectors.